Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich for PC Mech, and I'm going to show you a nice little quick free utility that's already in your Windows to detect spyware and malware and other bad things that may your computer may have. I'm going to bring up a command window here. There we go. Now, this command window you can get by clicking on Start and then run and then typing CMD and then clicking OK or alternatively you can click on start then all programs then accessories then command prompt and it will also do the same thing and you'll get a black window that looks like this uh, the first thing just to uh, unclutter it is to type CD like Charlie Delta and space then a backslash and press enter so it goes to the root of C drive and then CLS and press enter will clear that screen you don't have to do that but I do it just to uh, keep the window uncluttered now the command I told you about was NETSTAT netstat now let's find out what it does by pressing space and then front slash question mark and pressing enter and then I'm going to scroll up a little bit Okay, Netstat displays protocol statistics and current TCP IP network connections. And there's a bunch of flags that you can use, but we're going to concentrate on just B. If you want to try the other ones, you can, but dash B is the one that I'm going to be concentrating on, and I'll show you why. Type CLS again, we'll clear the screen, and we'll do netstat dash B. Press enter. Now when it's finished, I'm going to scroll up to the top. Now these are active connections. These are the connections that all executables are using to connect to the network, that being the internet in most cases right now. As you can see, there's Firefox, 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 MySpace Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, AIM.exe, which is AOL Instant Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, MIRC, which is an internet relay chat client that I use, Firefox, 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 and so on and so forth, and Google Talk. I also use that one as well. Uh, now, if you there's an application that you have that's not running, it will not be in this list. So I'm going to clear this screen. Now, if I run Internet Explorer, for example, and let me just go to a website okay and I'll bring that over here this is Internet Explorer what you saw in the background is Firefox and if I do a netstat dash B you'll see right at the bottom here I explore.exe I explore.exe I explore.exe connected to pcmech.com and uh, if I close this application and then I do another netstat dash B it's gone it's because it's not running right now if I close this Firefox browser and I do a netstat dash B you'll notice the Firefox browser is also gone so netstat dash B is only going to show the active connections and the reason this was valuable to you is because if there are any executables that just don't look like they should be there if they look weird um, executable file names that don't necessarily make any sense that might possibly be adware or spyware on your computer or you may need to run a utility to get rid of it uh, also just to wrap this one up if you want to output net stats output to say a text file uh, the easy way to do that is using a very old DOS command line function uh, which is uh, the greater than and then a file name and I'll show you how to do that if you do net stat dash b space and then greater than and then what we do is we type a file name here such as uh, netstat.txt and press enter it appears to have done nothing but it, what it actually did is that you just wrote a file to the root of C drive and let's just say I launched notepad I'll go ahead and do that and let me bring that over here and I click on file then open and if I type C drive backslash netstat.txt and press enter there is everything that 
netstat output and you can use this if uh, you need to send this to say a friend or something like that so you're trying to figure out certain applications that may be in this list that you don't know if they should be there or not and that is basically it